Hey Stampers, Gainer again and I've been having a little play with this cute little set. It's called Walk in the Woods. How adorable is that beautiful little hedgehog? It's just stunning. Uh, I'm, I use blends and I don't think I'm liking the blends so much. Uh, they look a bit false so I'm going to get the pencils out this time I think. I can find which drawer they're in. There's one pack. And there's the other pack. So yeah, I think I'll do it in pencil this time. So I fetched across the Sahara sand. I've got my bit of vellum and my thingy for my sentiment, and which I'm going to stamp in a moment. My card base, which is just a standard A4, which is not scored and folded in the middle some reason. It's better. This is from the Neutrals uh, collection and that is three and seven eighths by five and five eighths. I'll leave that on now. And I've got a one inch strip as well for the inside of the card. Just for a bit of decoration. Nice little border all the way around there. And I've left this at six inches because I can trim off the bit at the end. That I don't need. And I've just raised it about a quarter of an inch from the bottom. nice get me scissors <laughs> and just trim off the excess perfect so the card is prepped and ready to go nice and straight I think it's the same colour actually, yeah I think it is. Nice and I pop that to one side. This piece is cut at four and a half by three. I'm going to pop the lid back on here. And we're going to see if we can do a better sketch of those mushrooms <laughs> and our little hedgehog. Right, well I've got my hedgehog mounted. I'm just going to stamp my sentiment just for a minute and leave that to dry because you know me, I pick it up too soon straight after and then I'd smudge it. So, and this is seven eighths of an inch and it's not by any length because we're going to mite to the end. Perfect and straight. It would just take a little bit to dry, so I'm going to pop that to one side. decided to back it with vellum because we don't use that vellum that much so I thought why not let's get a little bit of cleaning going on here because I don't want to stain my stamp perfect that's better I'll leave that out for a moment. Um, I'm going to stamp in Sahara sand. Firstly, my lovely little hedgehog. He's just so cute. Oh, how adorable. How adorable is he? I've got a mask for him as well. So when I can stamp my other section then, which is here, I'm going to stamp this twice. Cute. 
cute. That's better. And then we can lift him off and you, you can see exactly where he's meant to be now. So that's gone back in my uh, stamp set for next time. Click, clunk, click, put it away, every click. <laughs> don't know, don't know, take notice of me. So, that's it. So I'm going to zoom you in so you can watch me colour this gorgeous little creature down here. Oh, beautiful cup of coffee up, Mr. Boyce, before starting the video. Can't go, but can't go wrong. So, Got cherry cobbler in this one, and real red in this one. So I'm going to use the real red. Hopefully, you will get a better finish on the mushrooms. It's just about experimenting. I mean, I'll probably use it again next time, maybe watercolors. Just going over it a second time just to make sure there's no white bits and then I can just press a little darker. And if you fetch your blends in, that's another idea as well. You can smooth out this red. And enhance it a little bit. Perfect. So, I'm going to get a scrap. Oops. I've got a piece of scratch paper here. Just clean off my bristles. Mind you, I'm going to be using the red anyway, so make sure you're still in shot. And if you notice, I'm only doing circular motions for now. Too cute though, isn't he? That beautiful, beautiful little. So let's smooth this out and then we'll add the dark. Beautiful. It's so, how can I say, therapeutic for me. The harder you press, the darker it becomes. Let's go over these. That looks a whole lot better. You can always go back in and add a bit more colour. that gives it that watercolour effect as well. B 
big circular motions this time. See, where's your pencil down? And then we can go back in again. A bit of shading going on. Perfect. That looks a whole lot better. lovely. So, I'm going to try, I guess have a look at the Cajun craze. Let me just test this. It's a bit more of a Beige colour, isn't it? Like a brown. Oh, I don't know. That's okay. You can pick up the colour off the pencil as well. Because the toadstools underneath are a little bit younger, not so big. I'm not going to have them as red as the top ones. A more natural blend. That's better. I think this is definitely turning out much better than I expected. Just see what I'm doing, just flicking. Get that shade in there. Oh, that's so much better. Let's go back to the red for a sec. shading that looks better than it loads better also then you can get your white gel pen when it wants to there we go some little white dots on there Add a few highlights. I'm 
it's too cute. There we go. Oh, they look a lot better, don't they? Look realistic. But uh, what I did wrong was when I did the little hedgehog there, I added the white gel pen and it just I should never have done it. I, on their mushrooms, yes, but not on there. So I'm thinking we have got Ali Espresso, which we can put under the stems lightly. Blend that out as well. Again, go back in. And get a touch up with the dark bits. That is too sweet. I think with the blends as well they get they tend to get a bit dark but the things like this with the watercolor it's a lot smoother highlight under there because there be no light under there same as this one and then just down this side I think with this you get a bit more of a realistic look again you'd have shading under there Or down that side. Beautiful. Again, where you would think there would be no daylight shining under there. How cute is that? So cute. Right, what other browns do we have? Not so many. So what I'm gonna do, oh am I? Yes, I am. Just on the little hedgehog himself. I'm gonna use just the the, lilila, the light crumb cake. Just under here. fact I might go all over him actually. He's just there as a background hint. Coming to the end of this pen. Yeah, my uh, my dark ones, okay. So I'll have two dark ones and a light one if I buy a new set. Because you've got to buy a combo. And I'm going to have hints of the Cajun craze in there as well. You 
it's going to have like three shades of brown. Let me see. Here, I think that's his other ear. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm going to swap over that. I'm not going to rinse the So cute and adorable. There's his toes. Is. Won't be long, babe, I'm filming. Let's get those little highlights. Oh, it's so cute. And then just gonna dab around his face. Mr. Boy's got a headache, bless him today. That's so cute. Oh my goodness. Clear my bristles. And then Caden Craze came out of that one. Right, in here we've got Garden Green and Granny Apple Green, so they're the two I'm gonna use for my grass. I think I'll start with the pale. Missed a bit of brown there, and I look at that. I'm not even going to blend it that now, I don't really think I need to. And then, I'm just going to go over those patches. So sweet. Just get a bit dark under there. That 
that is lovely. Perfect. <coughs> so I'm going to go back with my brown because I missed off. bit of the stem. Perfect. Clear off my bristle. What have I just thought I missed? Not that one actually. This one. There. Just gonna blend those rough bits out. Oh, with blends, it's so much better. <coughs> I'm loving that. I think that is so cute. A lot better than that one. Where he's uh, <laughs> got white bits. Right, where is Barmy Blue? This is the one. Clean my bristle again. I want to see, oh, I like to put a little blue around things. Just to represent the sky instead of going all the way over it. that out now. I quite like that. I think that's lovely. Clear your bristles again. For me, that one has turned out a whole lot better. I might just get the black Emphasize. Let's do the other end. This little guy's nose. And his nose and his eyes. Oh, I don't know what to do now. Oh, look how cute. I'm just having a gnaw. Just emphasise his little ears. Add a few more flex in there. Perfect. 
but it's cute now. I'm done with the painting. You can definitely clean your bristles. Let's zoom up again. Perfect. That looks so that looks so done by a kid. <laughs> that one looks a whole lot better. What I did. Just on top of the mushrooms, added and wink of Stella. Just making sure my brat is okay. Could add dimensionals on the back here if you wanted to. I'm just going to glue it down. Plenty. Keep it pretty central. I don't want to go rub him because of the wink of stella yet. Lovely. Now the sentiment should be dry. Yes. <laughs> so I'm just going to take scissors. And I'm going to pen at the end again. Glue this onto the vellum. Try and creep it as straight as possible. Is that a straight edge? No. So let's just straighten this edge up. That's better. Check it again, make sure it was level. Perfect. I'm just going to give myself about an eighth of an inch board all around. Put that back in my scraps bin. To that as well. There we go. That is cute. I'll pop that on dimensionals. Top of another one, Gaina. What am I like? <laughs> and then you can decide wherever you want this now. It's entirely up to you. I'm going to stick with this bottom corner. I'm going to add a little bow. And 
and this baker's twine is from the pampered pet suite so stop the curling just make sure you pull it off nice and even and i'm going to just dot in this top corner Oh, that won't take long to go off. And just add a spot markers. I normally add my little tape, don't I? But the baker's twine is a little bit thin. I'll hold that down in a sec. Till that goes off, it won't take long. Skizzes away. There we go. And if you want, you, you don't want that to, to move, just put a little bit on the back and hold it in place just so it gets a grip. As your bow stay open instead of curling as they do. Oh my goodness, I'm going blind. There we go. And then I use a couple of seats of mm, I've just got the dropsies today, peeps. <laughs> Look at them. Oh my. use these gorgeous little blue ones they're so sweet that one has got no sticky back on it oh again put the glue away okay you now keep it out until you finish so I'm just gonna add a dot of glue on the back of there and I've dropped my card on the floor Two small ones. Perfect. Did I get one of those disastrous days? Whatever you touch just blah, goes everywhere. <laughs> oh well, we got there in the end. But I way prefer this one to that one. Don't get me wrong, that one's cute, but I prefer the one I've just done. You, I would love your opinions on which one you like. Probably the same as mine. Oh my goodness, it's blue bottle. That's got it. So, which do you prefer? The first one or the second one? I know what I'd say. I'm not going to hold it. Look, baby childish, gain it, blur. This one, cute as a button, love it. But you never know, you might like the one with the blends. You might not. <laughs> I really would love a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. And please don't forget to press the bell once you subscribe because I do post every single day. So come and see what I make tomorrow. Love you guys. Bye.